Hey guys, Ted from Pewview Farms here. Uh, well, we talked yesterday and uh, I had stated about that bale of baleage that we pulled off of that oat field. Um, I had thought that that was the last one. Well, needless to say, I did not do my homework because this bale that I just grabbed is the last one. And uh, here it sits. I mean, see, I had to move it. It was over there in the feeder because we didn't have any room in uh, the actual main hay manger. So I put it in the feeder, and uh, I noticed this morning that it was untouched, unscathed. So I was like, well, what the heck? So the boys kind of helped me out here with the gate and stuff because it's a pain in the butt trying to get in this paddock with the skid steer and run out, chase the gate, and you know what I mean. So I pulled it and I set it over here by the feed trough and uh, I'm looking at it and yes, it is a bale of the oat baleage and uh, that's you know what we're looking at right here. And uh, it smells perfect, you know. It's, I've smelt some good baleage, you know, from a couple uh, dairy farms and stuff like that and uh, have an idea what a uh, correct bale of baleage should be and uh like i say i got uh what 14 15 cows over here right now and uh big mama's the only one chewing on it right now everyone else is kind of just uh looking around like uh what the hell are you doing so why i'm just really curious guys uh you know take a good look at this uh to me it looks edible i i guess if uh I couldn't afford uh, bread, milk, and uh, some table salt for the week. I might start mowing down on this. But, uh, you know, I don't see any mold. Yeah. Uh, it smells correct. But uh, these guys are not enjoying this stuff. Not like they would, uh, like I said, the second cut in baleage. Like I said, Big Mama, she's about the only one because she realizes how hard that uh, we put into making the food for her. So... She's showing her appreciation. Um, no, just curious, guys. Like I said, it, it, it kind of ticks me off a little bit because you put a lot of work into something like this. And, uh, you know, granted, I think it was only six bales off of that field. You know, six times eight right there is 48 bucks. Uh, you know, to have somebody come and bale it. And then our time mowing it down and uh, <clears throat> raking it up and... Uh, wrapping it and everything else so i mean you know there's a little bit of money involved in this and uh like i said from a strictly uh hobby farm point of view when you only put 40 uh baleage bales away and uh you rely on those being a, a good source of feed for the animals during the winter and to me it looks like it might go to waste like i say i just kind of really ticks me off but uh I don't know, you know, maybe we harvested it where it was too mature. All right, and, you know, right here, let's see. Right here, you know, you, there's the oats. I don't know, I mean, I was told harvest it when it's green. And we did. So, I don't know if it was too mature. I think the moisture content was good, or else I would have thought it probably would have molded. And like I said... These bales do not have any mold at all. So, yeah, just uh, looking maybe for a little bit of advice. Uh, I'm honestly going to say probably we won't do that again. Uh, say now we have the cover crops that are in there, the clover and the timothy, and uh, I believe there was one more kind of grass. So, this will not be a norm for the farm it was just something we had tried because we were told that uh, the cows would love this stuff well here I am seeing a little bit of dirt well like I showed you guys in that one video you know we did tear the field up in a couple spots it was a little wet so you know I mean I'm not blaming it on anybody but myself I'm the only one that had anything, to, you know, me and my neighbor to do with this. So, like I said, but for future lessons, you know, if we ever did decide to do something like that, uh, 
it'd be nice to know, you know, the ins and the outs of this and uh, maybe when is the proper time to harvest it? Does it actually make good baleage? Uh, you know, it's just questions that I have that uh, I believe somebody out there has got the know-how and the knowledge. Um, like I say, right now I'd have to go in, Google it, read a thousand different hu uh, hits, and uh, everybody's got a different opinion. But, uh, you know, normally if i got to find something out, it's either off of YouTube or Google. But, uh, no, I just assume ask you guys. You guys all seem pretty darn knowledgeable out there, and uh, you got your shit going on, so help with that being said guys i hope you like this video if you do click the like button comment and subscribe and boys what do we say Hi.